G'day folks, this is Shane, I'm back. It's been so long since I've done a vlog and I have probably one of the least friendly YouTube looking kitchens you've ever seen in your life. But that said, I'm here to make a meal post-workout. So for those who don't know, Subway in Australia is extremely expensive. Yeah, the sandwich joint. I know in the US you can pick them up for about five or six bucks for a foot long in Australia with a Coke. You're looking at around $18, no kidding. So I've decided to stock up and make my own. And there's another reason I wanted to make this vlog as well, because it's been quite some time. I want to check out slow-mo on this camera. Seriously, check out the size of this bread roll. This is epic. So I may actually just cut them in half and have half today, half tomorrow. Plenty of ingredients here. I'll go through what I got. Now somehow Subway convinced the world it was a healthy alternative to McDonald's, but if you look at the calories, it's not that much better. So let's go ahead and get stuck into this. I don't think this is gonna be probably any better, but I'm hoping it tastes just as nice. Now I was gonna halve this, but I think I'm actually gonna eat the whole thing. So what's been going on since the last vlog? A lot, I've been over to Denmark, I've been over to Sweden, and I'm heading back to Germany in just over or under a week now. I've lost count of the actual date. I leave on October 6th, and I'll be putting together a little video about that as well. So I also grabbed some cheese, and this is just like light cheese, because yeah, I'm being health conscious. And it actually, Kind of smells like someone farted. I don't often buy cheese because I don't eat a lot of it, but today we're gonna put some on because we can. Everything I got for this was about 30 bucks. And with, with the exception of the bread, which I'll have to go back and spend another three or four bucks on at some point, I'll get way more meals out of this for the same price. So I gotta start being a little bit smarter. I eat out way too much. Now, for some reason, I couldn't find mayonnaise with tuna, it just wasn't an option. So I had to improvise and just get some of the, in a can like this. This is the spring water one. Actually, it feels more like oil. Yeah, it is in oil. Anyway, that'll do, it'll be all right. Now tuna is pretty healthy and this is the good oil too. This isn't the, the nasty stuff. So while the bread is probably the worst thing of this entire meal, we're going with the tuna. Here's the trick to getting the tuna to taste good, mayonnaise. Now, I used to be addicted to the mayonnaise. I don't often have it anymore, but uh, it's one of those dressings that you can kind of get carried away with really, really easily. But at the same time, I kind of want the tuna to not taste quite as disgusting. Oh, I don't mind tuna, you know, but it's one of those things. Let's just chuck a fair bit on here and I'll mix it up. I'll grab my fork and we'll just sort of smash it in a little bit. We may need more of it. Looks pretty disgusting so far, but it'll get better. At least I hope so. All right, done. We got cucumbers as well. Couldn't find the exact pickles that they use there, but these actually look like good quality ones and they're a whole lot larger and they're serrated for whatever reason. So looking forward to testing these out. I'm shooting this whole video on the Panasonic GH5 with a 20 mil lens, no 25 millimeter lens, 1.7. My Probably my favorite lens. It doesn't lend itself to very wide shots, but I like its sharpness. I'm doing a review on my geeky nerdy techie channel at some point too. So if you're into camera gear and tech reviews, check it out. Now that's the amount of actual cucumbers or pickles I would like on my sub at Subway, but no, they count out eight. This will make people unsubscribe. <laughs> Jalapenos and chili mix. I love these things. I'm guilty of it. I just think uh, jalapenos, man, they add such a good flavor to food. You don't need a lot of them, but um, yeah, I'm gonna have probably, oh, these smell amazing. Here's something I've never really understood. 
how did they come up with the name Thousand Islands Dressing? I have no idea, but this stuff is pretty damn tasty, I gotta say. All right, I reckon we should have enough flavor to sort of cancel out a lot of those uh, tuna chunks. <laughs> You know what? I gotta be honest. Avocado was the most disgusting thing in the world until about three months ago where I actually started to really enjoy it and I knew its health benefits. This is the kind of fat you wanna be eating. Healthy fats, when they talk about that, avocado is definitely one of them. And I've kinda of caked it on here as well. Might be a little bit hard to see. I'll just change the focus there. So yeah, you can use this instead of using margarine or butter. Um, and if you live in the US, we don't have it here, thankfully, that spray on stuff. <laughs> Use avocado. Mix it up with all these different ingredients and you're laughing. All right, there's one thing that's missing on here, which I'm sure everyone's aware of, and that's some lettuce. So we have that as well. Spared no expense, the $2 lettuce. This is mixed leafy mix. Mixed leafy mix. Mixed leaf. What's it called? Mixed leaf, leafy mix. No kidding, check out the name. Mixed leaf, leafy mix. That's why I was having so much trouble saying it. Anyway, look at this, this is awesome. So depending on what you like, you could use different, you could maybe put a vinaigrette on there or something, but for me, I think this is gonna be pretty much the way that I'm gonna enjoy it anyway. I gotta say, this looks pretty impressive, minus the lettuce that's just fallen out of it. But yeah, this thing is an absolute monster. Now, knowing my luck, this thing is gonna taste like crap, but the funny thing is, look how big this is. It's bigger than a 1.25 liter Coke. So, uh, I think what I'm gonna try and do here is cut it in half, and then we'll take a bite. Oh man, it is a beast. It's an absolute beast. I'm gonna send a photo to my friend who always ridicules me for never, never doing anything in terms of uh, home cooking, even though this isn't cooking. Hoo hoo hoo, it looks great, looks really good. Oh man. That sauce all over my face. The sauces are so much better. This rocks. Bye bye, Subway. <laughs> wow. This is so much better. Unbelievable.